What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa. Welcome to another video. Today, I wanna to talk about the importance of starting your day off right. Having a great morning routine that will boost your energy, productivity, and overall mood. Because if you're starting your morning off on the wrong foot, it becomes this snowball effect of bad things happening throughout your day. And I want you to have the best morning possible so that you have an incredible day. So here are seven powerful habits that men should do every morning. And just so you know, I'm proud to say that today's video is sponsored by Centrum and we'll talk about them later. First, get in the habit of waking up at the same time every morning. This is one of the most important habits that you could ever develop. That internal clock that you have is an amazing thing. I wake up at 6.30 on the dot every day with or without an alarm. If we wake up at the same time every day, we can reinforce the circadian rhythm, which will then allow you to sleep at the same time every night and the outcome is more efficiency. Your body knows that at 6.30 in the morning, it's time to get up and get going. You're not gonna wake up and be groggy and tired in the morning and feel lazy because your body's like, no, I'm, I'm good. This is the time when we usually wake up. This is you having a conversation with your own body. This is when we wake up, dude, we're good. Let's get this day started. And by the way, when I say wake up at the same time every morning, I also mean get out of bed at that time. Don't be one of those people that wake up at 6.30 but then stay in bed until 9 a.m., all right? It's not the same. Get up and get moving, get your day started. Another habit that I've developed is to drink a glass of water immediately after I wake up. It's like clockwork, man. I wake up, I go upstairs to the kitchen, and I chug a glass of water. I feel pretty dehydrated when I first wake up, and for good reason, right? Because I haven't had water in about eight hours or longer. Your body definitely needs that first thing in the morning, so make sure that you rehydrate right away. Coffee should not be the first liquid that you consume in the morning. Get some water and give your body some time to hydrate before you grab that cup of coffee, which again, I'm sure it's a necessity, but wait a little bit longer, get some water first. And then I also take this opportunity to take my vitamins because what happens is if I don't take them first thing in the morning, then I usually forget. In the middle of the day, I'm like, wait, did I, did I take my vitamins? Like, damn it, I don't know. At that point, I'm not gonna risk taking it again, so I just end up skipping a day, which isn't ideal, right? So get in the habit of taking your vitamins at the same time every morning. And yes, I'll tell you about the vitamins I take because you guys are always asking when I talk about it on my Instagram story or here on YouTube. So here you go. My vitamins are from Centrum. They sponsored today's video, which is awesome because it's a reliable brand. And these are just some of the supplements they offer. You know, if you're familiar with the brand, you know they literally have every kind of supplement you can imagine. But here are the ones that I take. In the morning, I take the energy and vitality supplement. Then I take probably my favorite supplement, and I'll be honest, it's mostly because it tastes amazing, the Focus and Clarity Gummies. They're cherry vanilla flavored and they support mental focus and attention. And lately, I've been taking the immune and digestive support supplements as well. Us humans, we're pretty fragile and something can happen at any moment. I've been very diligent and taking my supplements every day, no matter what. I bring them when I travel, I make sure I don't run out, especially the immune support. And this has vitamins A, C, E, and zinc to keep me healthy. And like I said, Centrum has a ton of options. So check out the link in the description of the video. It's the first link below and stay healthy. Make sure that your body is getting everything it needs to give you the energy, the productivity, the focus, and the immunity that you need to have an amazing life. It's the first link below. The next powerful habit that you should add to your morning routine. Well, going over your schedule and preparing for the day ahead. If you watch my videos, hopefully you do, then you know that the trick here is definitely to have your schedule written the night before, your to-do list. That way, you have a really good idea of what you're doing the next day. Right, you have a good idea of what your day is going to look like before you even get out of bed, before you even go to bed the night before. So when you wake up, take a look at that schedule, get a fresh reminder of what's going on, and then get ready to crush your day. I've done this before, right? I I'm guilty of waking up, having a chill morning, right? I have some coffee, I'm chilling, listening to my audiobook. Then I look at my calendar, I'm like, oh, Oh my God, I messed up, man. I needed to be ready like now because I have a video call in 20 minutes and I'm definitely not ready. I forgot to do this, I forgot to do that. And those mornings suck. You know, you wake up and you're already behind and then you, your day just sucks after that because you're just trying to catch up the whole day. And if there's one thing you guys probably don't know about me is that I absolutely hate rushing. I hate rushing because then things don't get done properly. They don't get done well and you mess things up. So rushing is, I, I, I hate it. 
So wake up, drink your water, take your vitamins, but check your calendar before you start watching, you know, YouTube videos or reading emails or anything else that might suck you in for too long. The next habit that is going to absolutely transform your mornings is get in the zone. What does that mean? Open your blinds, your windows, right? Get natural light into your room or your office. Play some upbeat music. Man, music completely changes your mood. It enhances your mood in a way that pretty much nothing else can. So play some really good music that you love, whether it's country or hip hop or you know EDM, it doesn't matter, whatever fits your mood, whatever you like, whatever is going to uplift you and make you feel amazing, that's what you should be playing. That should be your playlist. And get some natural light as well. You know, it's just, it feels different, right? It makes you more awake, more focused. It gives you better clarity and more energy. It's crazy that you can manipulate your mood so easily. Right, just by opening the blinds, playing some great music, getting some fresh air, your mood is going to enhance instantly. So make sure that you're doing that every single morning if you want to be productive, if you want to get motivated and crush your goals that day. Next up, obviously this is a huge one, your first meal of the day, eat a healthy breakfast. Don't skip this one. It's quite possibly, I mean, I think it's one of the most important meals of the day, if not the most important meal of the day, because it gives you the nutrients that your body needs in order to run until the afternoon, you know, or whenever you have your next For meal. For me, it's about 1 p.m., sometimes even later, like 3 or 4 p.m., so my breakfast needs to be good. And no, I'm not talking about cereal, I'm talking about something that has a lot of nutrients in there you know, a protein shake, and then you have some eggs and potatoes, some bacon, whatever it is that you like to eat in the morning, as long as it gives you the nutrients and the energy that you need. The next habit that definitely changes your mood, your body, your health, everything, is being active, working out in the morning. So I, up until I was about 26, I used to work out in the evenings after work. And that was not a good move because I would work nine to five, put my heart and soul into this job, you know, really think about it. I would be exhausted by 5, 6 p.m. when I got out. And then I would just go to the gym and I wouldn't really have it in me to lift as heavy as I should, to, to have the energy and, you know, really change my body, transform my body. So I wasn't able to do that. Once I switched over to working out in the morning, I felt so much better. I would wake up, get my workout in and really go hard, really focus on that workout because I had so much energy in the morning and then go to work and still perform at a high level. And the added benefit to that is that at five or six, whenever you get out of work, you're done, man. You don't have to be like, oh, I still gotta go to the gym. This sucks, dude. This, I, I had a crap day. My boss yelled at me for whatever. You know, I had got this phone call and this customer was a pain in the neck. Now I gotta go work out. This is not good. So instead of doing that, get it done in the morning. That way there's no excuse, you get it done, and then you go to work. Something else that I started doing probably two years ago, so pretty recently, is leaving my phone on do not disturb from 10.30 p.m., 10, 10 o'clock? 10.30 p.m., it's, it's automatically done. I have it set up already. 10.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., my phone is on do not disturb. I wake up at 6.30. So for one hour in the morning, my phone is, not, is on do not disturb. Why? I don't want any text messages to bother me. I don't want any notifications. Obviously, doing social media, I get a, a lot of notifications. I don't want to look at anything. I just want to have my morning the way that I want it to go. I don't want any external anything to affect that in any way possible. So leave your phone on Do Not Disturb for one hour or so in the morning, for the first hour of your morning. It helps you be more productive. No one's calling you, no one's messaging you. Just focus on whatever you have to do instead of checking notifications. Because sometimes you get an email, you check it, next thing you know you're checking other emails, and an hour goes by. You, you just lost an hour of your morning. So do not disturb for the first hour. I'm telling you, your productivity levels are gonna skyrocket. Thank you so much to Centrum for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to hit the link below to check them out. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, it's at Alex Costa. I post there a lot as well as TikTok. Same, at Alex Costa. I'll see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again very soon. Peace.